Today, we are back with something unique and exciting. As you've seen the title, we'll be discussing the best fantasy romance manhwa. Fantasy is a very popular genre, whether it is linked to manga, anime, manhwa, or manhua. If you are looking for some best fantasy romance manhwa to read, you are at the right place because we've created an excellent list for you. Let's get started! Number 10 The Golden-Haired Elementalist Our main character was a nerd who spent her entire life studying, which resulted in her death. Our MC died, but she was lucky enough to be reborn as Gini in a world full of magic and adventure. Gini was born into a noble family and was considered one of the most intelligent girls of all time. But this time, she does not want to study. All she wants to do now is relax. But it's not as simple as she expects. She is reincarnated for reasons that she is unaware of. Is she in danger? What's going to happen to her? Read the manhwa to find out. Number 9 Lady Baby Next, we have a great manhwa that goes around the story of a girl whose life is full of misery and pain. She even lost everything, but nature has given her a second opportunity to reclaim what she has already lost. Lady Baby features time travel and giving our MC a second chance to live happily and cure everything. Is she capable of doing so? To discover everything out, read this manhwa. Furthermore, Lady Baby is well known for its romance, so if you're looking for Ice K manhwa with romance, this should be on your list. Number 8 Survive as the Hero's Wife Next we have a story of a girl named Canaria who has been ice skated into a novel she was reading. She has been reborn as a villain, and she already knows her story. She is about to be killed by her husband, but instead of simply sitting and waiting for her death, she goes out to change her fate and the entire plot of the novel by doing something ridiculous. What's she planning to do? Can she save herself? Read to find out. Number 7 The Daughter of the Elemental King Next, we have Daughter of the Elemental King, which centers around the story of Hyan, a girl who was transported to another world. However, her gender altered the minute she was transported. She not only has to cope with it, but she also has to deal with her insane father, who despises her for being this way, and she has to deal with an entirely new universe full of supernatural powers she has never seen before. The main question that arises here is how is she going to manage all that? Read the manhwa to find out. Number 6 Death is the only ending for the villainous. This manhwa tells the narrative of Penelope Eckhart, who has been transferred into a gaming world as Duke Eckhart's adopted daughter. She is regarded as if she were a substitute, and everyone around her despises her. The game world has such strict regulations that she could die even if she makes the smallest error. She is now given the task of falling in love with one of the male protagonists, or else she will be murdered. The actual twist is yet to begin. She must perform this task prior to the arrival of Eckhart's real daughter. Can she end up with any of the male leads and have a happy ending? We still don't know. Number 5 I Tamed a Tyrant and Ran Away I don't know why but why do the female MCs in Romance Ice K Manwes have white hair? Boss lady things, I guess. I Tamed a Tyrant and Ran Away follows the story of Charlie's Ronan. She fought for the Empire not because she wanted to, but because she was forced to become a sort of slave. Charlize was just a tool they could use for their own goals, but she had enough. Luckily, she traveled back in time to her former self and is on her way to get some of that sweet revenge. She's no hero, she's something else. Charlize is gonna use Dylan Blade, the prince to rule over the empire that destroyed her previous life. But can Charlize keep up her cold-hearted personality in front of Dylan? Number 4 I Belong to the House Castiello Moving on, we have another wonderful manhwa that tells the sad story of Estelle, an 11-year-old girl who was sold off by her harsh mother. After being deceived by her own mother, she was terrified of what would happen to her, but fortunately, things worked out in her favor when she was adopted by Ein Castiello, the Duke of the Empire, who later turned out to be her father. What kind of life awaits her now that she has been reunited with her father? Is all of her sorrow about to vanish? Keep an eye on this manhwa to find out. Number 3 Father, I Don't Want to Get Married It revolves around Jubilion who uses her knowledge of her previous life to finally survive her current one. Even though she's just a basic villain cannon fodder, the lady just wants a simple life. 
but as the daughter of a duke, of course, her husband isn't. Sadly for her, she's about to be married to the crazy crown prince that straight up kills anyone he doesn't like. What will Jubilion do? Is the crown prince really crazy? Number 2 When the Villainous is in Love Have you ever wished to be reborn as a character from your favorite book? Some of you might enjoy it, depending on the type of novel you read. That is exactly the plot of this manhwa, as our MC, who was leading a happy life, was transported into the body of a villainous. Not only that, but the villain is getting towards the end of her life. She is so sick that she can't even move her body. Seeing her in this state, our MC is determined to stand by her and assist her in healing her body. Will she be able to achieve her goal? That much I can't tell you just yet. Number 1 The Villainous Reverses the Hourglass tells us the story of Arya Rosenti, the daughter of a prostitute who was meant to live a life of luxury once her mother married into the household of Count Rosenti. However, she was always ignored, and as a result of her stepsister Miel's efforts, she earned a bad reputation in society. Because of the hatred and mistreatment, Arya became sick, and when she finally reached the age of 20, she died. Rather than dying, she was sent back into the past, and now she is ready to take revenge on all those who have mistreated her in the past. 